Ed Hose, and I'm a girl. We are standing outside of my studio, Ed Hose Illustration Studio on St. Simons Island off the coast of Georgia. It is a very hot day here and I'd love to show you around inside where it's totally cool. Welcome to the inside of my studio. It is super tiny in here. I think we're looking at 100 square feet of pure creative indulgence, if there's such a thing. This is where I do all my drawings and commissions. I also do some painting. Um, everything that you see on the walls are all my originals, the black and whites. I draw everything with pen and ink, and then I do all the color on the computer. So um, everything in my studio is a print, and some of the prints can be personalized. Like I have pieces that you can put your name on, or your initials, or kind of weave like a favorite saying into them. Um, I'd like to show you a couple of my favorite pieces. This is called The Secret to a Happy Marriage. Always kiss goodnight. This is called Bipolar Ice Cream Disorder. And I'm like, I'm not bipolar, but I'm mildly obsessed with the word because it's just great because it's like polar, which is like ice cream, or maybe that's just me, but I like buying polar things. And then I also have like bipolar card which I sell, which is a really great card to give to someone to just uplift them and their disorder. So this is my um, Mardi Gras llama and my fox that says Om. And this is my painted bunting, painting a painted bunting. And I drew this and I spent a lot of time on it and then I realized afterwards it would be like much funnier if the um, painted bunting was just painting with like bird poop. I, I did a version of that, but um, nobody else thought that was funny. So people often ask me like what motivates me to draw, like what do I like to draw the most, and I would say word plays are my favorite. Um, this is called When Life Gives You Lemmings, Make Lemonade. Um, but I also like to think about like awkward situations. Um, for instance, I have my dragon over here, and that's called the hungriest, most desperate dragon in the world. Because I was thinking if you were a fire-breathing dragon, how hard it would be to eat ice cream. And wow, I'm obsessed with ice cream. I actually am obsessed with ice cream, so I draw a lot of ice cream. So that poor dragon, like every time it tries to eat its ice cream, it like burns it away and it can never eat anything. So I'm, I'm also motivated by objects. I love to think about like what objects are thinking. So I have a series called What Things Think, and this is part of that. This is called Bitch Slut, and it's uh, kind of about what clothes would think if they were in a closet together, and how um, they live, live just such different lives that they would totally think the other one's lying. Like, for instance, sweatpants, like, they never go anywhere nice, but, like, high heels go everywhere nice. Um, this is called Leaves Falling in Love, and I was thinking about how, um, you know, leaves fall, and how much sweeter it would be if they fell in love on their way down. That's called The Beauty of Negative Space, and it's about how when you miss somebody, they carve a space inside you, like their absence creates this thing that isn't nothing, it's, it's just absence. Um, and I think there's a beauty to that. So I, I love to play with negative space. So this is a, another negative space drawing. That doesn't have a title. Oh, then I have this series that, that I've been working on about a mermaid and a janitor, and it's called The Mermaid and the Janitor. And honestly, the day that I thought of that, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be famous. Like, this is the greatest idea anyone's ever had. Again, I'm kind of like alone in thinking that, but it's a French-made mermaid, and I just, I mean, come on, and a janitor, and he's like a jan, he's a minotaur. It's good. I don't know. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, and here's one of the things I love to do is draw people as shrimp, and um, this was like a custom portrait for a dad, and I also drew the mom and the baby shrimp, and um, I do like Willie Nelson. Like I do anybody as a shrimp. It's like a talent that that I have. Does that sound vain? Like I'm really good at drawing shrimp people? I really am, I don't know. It's a gift, what can I say? This sticker, which I love because this is called the Possibly Inappropriate Panda. It's 
so he's either just like a cute panda who's just like giggling, or he's like not. <laughs> he's like <laughs> doing something else. I don't know. He's just possibly inappropriate, and we don't know. This may not be like the best drawn thing I've ever drawn, but I have to tell you, I have had this wordplay. Like I love. Um, you know, words and spoonerisms and tongue twisters and I don't know, for maybe 30 years of my life, in my head I've been saying one ton, one, 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 one ton. So I finally just decided to draw it one day. And this is it. It's one ton, one, 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 one ton. You can say it's really fun. And if you have it on your wall, I think it'll make you linguistically like more advanced. And I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for coming to visit. I hope you enjoyed your tour of my very teeny tiny little studio and I hope to see you again real soon. In the meantime, you can find me at edmose.com on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and pretty much anywhere else on the computer. Except Craigslist. Uh, don't look for me on Craigslist.